Hey, you guys looking for an awesome gift that's under $50? In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Echo Dot and give you kind of a buyer's guide on some of its features and what it can be used for. Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Amazon Echo Dot. Stay tuned to the end and I will answer some common questions that I've seen out there. So first I wanna start and just tell you guys what the Echo Dot is. It is a hands-free voice activated device with a small speaker inside. Basically, it allows you to talk to it and control things in your house. You can do anything from connecting to speakers, headphones, ask it to play music, make calls, send and receive messages, provide information, news, sports, weather, etc. It does so many different things. So let's go a little deeper into some of these features. I would say by far over anything else that we have this Echo Dot do is play music. And fortunate we have an Amazon Prime account, so we have Amazon Music that it plays from. But just to give you guys some ideas of what other types of music stations you can connect it to, it says here on the website that you can connect it to Pandora, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Sirius XM Radio. So all of those different platforms you can connect and log in through your Echo Dot and have it play music that way. You don't have to have a Prime account and use Prime Music to play it. There are many different options as well as free options for playing music on this device. Now, as far as playing music on the actual device, the speaker on it is not very good. Granted, I will say that we do use the speaker on occasions, but I'll tell you right now, it's got a very like kind of hollow, tinny kind of sound to the speaker. So it gets the job done, but it's by no means a great source of audio. What I would recommend is getting an external speaker. There are plenty of options out there on Amazon. I believe there is the Shark that is under $50 that you can get, or you can get something like the Bose SoundLink Mini. That is what I have. So I actually have this guy right here and this thing sounds amazing. So I absolutely love it. It plays fantastic. It sounds so good. If you're looking for other options and speakers to connect it to, I would highly recommend that Bose system and I will link it in the description below. Now, some other things you can do with the Dot is you can connect it to kind of a smart home atmosphere. You can connect it to light bulbs, thermostats, have it control temperatures, have it dim lights, turn off lights. There's a whole slew of different things that you can control just by using your voice with the Echo Dot. Some compatible brands with the Echo Dot is Wemo, Samsung Smart Thing Hub, which is what I have, Wink, Sony, Hue, Nest, Ecobee. These are all different brands that can be voice activated with the Echo Dot. As far as the voice control, the Echo Dot has a far field voice recognition system that has seven different microphones inside of it and allows it to pick up a voice from any side of it. One cool thing is that on the top you have a ring that will glow when the voice activation is listening. And if you notice on there, it is a dark blue circle, but a part of the device will light up light blue in the direction that it's hearing the sound from. The Echo Dot also has another feature called skills. In essence, a skill is what allows the Echo Dot to connect to other devices. For instance, I have a smart thing hub. I want to teach my Echo Dot the smart thing hub skill, which allows them to communicate with each other. Same with say a Hue light bulb. You want to allow your Alexa Dot to learn the skill for the Hue light bulb, allowing it to communicate with that Hue light bulb. It has thousands of different skills and different ways that you can connect your Echo Dot to different features. It also connects to the Amazon Fire Stick TV, which allows you to voice activate your TV. I highly recommend the Amazon Echo Fire Stick. Another thing that the Echo Dot has is it has spatial perception, meaning that all of your Echo Dots will be connected together if you have multiple in a room, and the Echo Dot that is closest to you or hears you the loudest is the one that is going to answer you. So you don't have to worry about if you say, order a pizza, that say all three Echo Dots in your room are gonna be ordering you pizzas or ordering you an Uber. Whichever one hears you the loudest, that is the one that is going to work. A feature that I like is that you can have one Echo Dot as a intercom to another Echo Dot. So 
If you're in the kitchen, dinner's ready, it's time for dinner, you can tell Echo Dot to send a message to an Echo Dot in another room stating that dinner's ready or throughout the whole house if you've got a large house. One thing to keep in mind with spatial perception is that only Amazon devices have this feature. There is a thermostat, the Echo B4, that has built-in Alexa to it. However, it currently, as I'm making this video, does not have spatial perception in it. Meaning that if you say something to your Echo Dot, it could potentially pick up on both the devices and answer you separately. For example, if you say, tell me a joke, they will both speak over each other and tell you two different jokes. Also, and I have not tested this, I wonder if you ask it to order you something, say for an Uber or pizza or something like that, it could potentially order you two of those. I can't confirm that, but if you have experience with that, let me know down in the comments. All right, so on to the questions. One of the questions I read out there was, do you need the Alexa Echo to use the Echo Dot? The answer to that is no, you do not. The Echo Dot is completely freestanding from any other device out there. I actually just have the Echo Dot and it works perfectly fine. The second question that I see out there that's really popular is, do I have to have a Prime account to use this? The answer to that is no, you do not need a Prime account. Some of the benefits that having the Prime subscription will get you is allowing you to add things to your shopping list on Amazon. So if I said, Echo, add paper towels to my shopping cart, that is something that the Prime membership will allow you to do. Another benefit to having Prime is that it gives you exclusive offers. Sometimes it's getting deals early by using the Echo Dot and having a Prime service. In other situations, there are Prime deals where you can only get these very special deals by having and ordering through the Alexa Dot. The third thing that is a benefit for having a Prime membership is Amazon Music. Having Amazon Music allows me to create playlists, have music without commercials. It's nice, but I wouldn't say that that is necessary. Another question I read out there was, can it read audible books? And that is, yes, it can. So it does have the built-in speaker or you can connect an outside speaker to it, but you can ask it to read audible books. The audible book is much more tolerable with this speaker than playing music through the actual device itself. And listening to say a podcast audible book, talking with this speaker is actually okay. Well guys, that wraps up my buyer's guide to the Amazon Echo Dot. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. Tell me what you use it for. I'd be curious to see some other features that I haven't talked about. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Echo, play, bu play Bubble Guppies on Fire TV. Getting Bubble Guppies from Fire TV. Yeah. It's done.